Our big story at nine, we are learning more about the 46 puppies that were illegally transported to Washington County. The man who brought all of them were in the back of his pickup truck, but he has not been arrested at this point. Cassidy Williams joins us live tonight in Washington County to explain why. The Washington County Sheriff says this investigation is ongoing and complicated. All of the dogs are brought here to the Washington County Humane Society, and the good news is almost all of them have now found a home. Oh boy. A new puppy can be a handful. 46 puppies, a lot for one person to take care of. She knew him on a personal level and was concerned that he didn't have the capacity to care for that number of animals, so she had reached out to us. Lieutenant Tim Kemps with the Washington County Sheriff's Department says it was that call that led them to find the 46 puppies and one adult dog at a man's home. When they were found, in some cases, there was multiple dogs per kennel. We talked to the person who called police. She sent us these screen grabs from Friday. The man posted on Facebook, if anyone is feeling generous tomorrow and wants to come help wash 52 rescue pups, that'd be really awesome of you. Then, a lot of pups available starting Saturday for adoption. He also posted this photo from his trip north with the dogs. The caption, I feel ya, Bucky. I feel ya. We've blurred the man's name because he has not been arrested nor charged. Why wasn't he arrested on the spot? So um, a couple reasons. It's a pretty complex investigation. Um, and there's really two angles to it. It's really a licensing investigation as well as a, you know, making sure that um, we don't have any cruelty to animal issues or anything of that nature. Lieutenant Kemps expects the investigation to be wrapped up in about a week. He says it appears the man brought the dogs here with the intent to sell them. <laughs> The man turned over all the dogs to the Washington County Humane Society, where most found new homes Tuesday. We went to the suspect's home this afternoon. He did not appear to be there. Right after we left, we saw two sheriff's deputies pull onto his property. Reporting from Slinger, Cassidy Williams, Fox 6 News. A sign this investigation is still active. All right, Cassidy, thanks.